Hi folks, Scott Kelby here from KelbyOne.com and we have an intermediate level uh, tutorial today. It is going from Lightroom. We'll do as much as we can in Lightroom. Jump over to Photoshop for some heavy lifting and then zip back to Lightroom for the finishing touches. And here's the image we're working on, which is a mess. Obviously the white balance is, is totally trashed. <laughs> that's, that's a given. Uh, I took this years ago. I, I saw this this week when I was looking for other images and I was like, oh yeah. So this was a hotel in Egypt of all places. And um, it's a mess. So besides the color being off, look at how these columns are all bent, right? It's just the, the whole thing's a mess. So let's go ahead and fix the color real quick and then we'll work on the, on the other stuff. So to fix the col uh, color, I use the eyedropper tool. I'm gonna get the eyedropper tool, click on the wall here on something that's supposed to be kind of a grayish, mid-tone kind of looking thing. And again, you can just click around until you find you know a good looking that uh, looks pretty decent. Um, of course, you are going to have this, you know, these blue tones down here, which we can get rid of if we want. If you really want to kind of reduce those, you could get the adjustment brush. You could take the double click on effect to zero out all the sliders, and then we'll move the uh, away from blue towards yellow. And then you could kind of paint over this down here to help neutralize that so it won't be so blue down there. And uh, that's what, uh, there we go. That's what we'll do to kind of reduce that amount of blue by moving away from the blue. You're painting white balance is what you're doing here. And I think we could maybe even raise the amount a little bit more to get it looking a little less blue. Okay, well that kind of gets us in there. That's not really the focus of this. Um, this uh, chandelier and all is kind of blown out. Let's pull the highlights back to get that looking a little better. Ah, that's a little better. You can actually see out the window a little too. Okay, what I'm really worried about is this other junk. So let's go to the Lens Corrections panel and let's turn on our profile first. Let's go ahead and enable Profile Corrections. Now, um, this was actually taken with an 18 to 200 and there it is. This is, this is I shot this years ago. I, I uh, had a Nikon crop sensor and I was using an 18 to 200 lens there so it saw found the lens and applied it and you can see it it helped a little bit right you could see the barrel distortion and stuff kind of fix but of course it's still not, not quite there so i would go to the transform panel next and click on auto and let's see what that does auto usually does a pretty good job yeah that's not bad right here's before here's after it gets certainly a bit better. Now, sometimes when it does this, it, it makes it look a little squatty, like it kind of, like this is stretched okay, and then this is kind of squatty. You can go here to the scale and increase, I'm, I'm not, sorry, not the scale, the aspect right above it, and you can stretch it wide or stretch it taller. Um, I might stretch it just a hair taller because it looked kind of squatty <laughs> when it did that, but uh, we do still have some issues here with the the columns it looks like we might even have some a little bit of chromatic aberration going on back there let's go take a look yeah see that green line there let's go ahead over to lens corrections let's turn on remove chromatic aberrations and boom it's gone that little checkbox right there remove chromatic aberrations did it if it persisted then you would go to manual and you would have raised this green slider over here just raise that to to get rid of that green but in this case just turning on remove remove chromatic aberrations did okay well that's about as much as we can do right now i mean you could tweak this a little bit um it looks like maybe i wasn't standing exactly right in the center so you could go to the transform panel and use horizontal and see if you can get it a little more straight maybe more like that yeah that's i think that's a little better um it's weird the ceiling and the floor don't exactly line up oh that's pretty good right there so at minus four on the horizontals, it kind of straightened it out. All right, let's jump over to Photoshop. We press come, here's our image, and now we can fix some of these other problems. So the problem that's kind of driving me crazy is there's a guy standing there, but also these columns, look at them, they're kind of, they're not really rounded, they're kind of stretched out a bit. Even though we made the image a little taller, these are still stretched out, and that that's kind of funky. So here's what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go here, and I'm going to grab this part of the image here. So this area that's kind of, if you know, notice, this kind of angles up and this kind of angles down. 
So I'm going to go to Free Transform, Command T on Mac or Control T on Windows, and I'm going to use the Perspective command. So you can either just go choose Perspective, right click, and choose Perspective, or Option, Shift Option Command on Mac or Shift Alt Control on Windows, and kind of pull that into where it's they're not leaning anymore. And then maybe you would hold Shift and pull that in a little. So something like that. That's not so bad. All right, so yeah, that, that actually looks quite a bit better. It's not quite as stretched. Let's do the same thing over here. Let's get most of it selected. Go to Free Transform, and we're going to use Perspective. This time we'll just choose, actually, Perspective if you want, and just pull in the corners to where it's not leaning like that anymore. Something like, And you could go to Free Transform if you wanted. Hold Shift and tuck that in. So... They're not leaning as far. This one actually is still leaning a bit. I'm not sure I, I moved that one quite enough. But all right, where are we at? Well, we could probably recrop this a little bit. Let's bring in the cropping just a tad here. So the sides kind of look a little more alike. I'm cutting off more of the top of that than I want. All right, so we have some gaps here. Let's go ahead and get the magic wand tool select this side select this corner down here grab that little tiny corner i'm holding the shift key to be able to select those areas now to get better results from content aware fill go select modify and choose expand and we're going to grow that selection by like four pixels that's kind of the magic number and then we hit fill make sure content aware is selected and click ok and that should take care of those gaps Give it a sec, and the gaps are gone. Okay, we have this dude. We got to get rid of the dude. So usually when we get rid of stuff like this, one of the tricks is to steal maybe this column over here and this whole area, flip it over and use it over there. So press Command-J to put that up on its own layer so you have just that. Go to Free Transform and right click and choose Flip Horizontal. So we can drag this over here where he is. Now to get it, if you really want to get it kind of lined up, you know, a little tighter, what you can do is lower the opacity of this layer so you can kind of see what's going on back there. And you can kind of get this a little tighter with what's there. And as you can see, this column is not aligned with that other column at all, so I'm going to hold Shift, kind of move this back to where those kind of line up a little better, maybe more like that, somewhere in there, and it looks maybe a little too tall, so I'm going to hold the Shift key and pull that down with just a tad, well, actually, maybe right there. It's not going to be super perfect. <laughs> I think you've already realized that, right? Let's get this, uh, well, this side it looks like it needs to come out a little bit. Let's, not, not looking good. Let's see. Let's see if that gets us in the ballpark. Oh, the top of this thing is way off. All right, let's, uh, let's just swing this side back a little. Let's see if we can get away with that. That's pretty close. Let's bring our opacity back up. Just trying to get rid of that guy, really, so... Uh, let's hit the layer mask. Let's get the brush tool and just get a soft edge brush. We're painting in black, and I just don't want to see that floor right there. I think we might be able to get away with the rest. I don't want to mess with that column. Let's just see if I can. We are cheating here. Let's kind of get rid of this mess. And also, there's this line you can see right there on the column, which is not, not awesome. There we go. All right, there is his his foot there. Should we get rid of that? <laughs> yeah, we probably should should get rid of his foot. All right, well, let's see if that gets us in the ballpark. Yeah, it's it's not a hundred percent, but it's you know, it's better than seeing him. And you do have a little architectural work you've done here. <laughs> we'll kind of have to fix that. I guess we can't just uh, we can't just let that go, can we? Yeah, let's fix that roof a little bit. And then there's a little bit of a mess right here. Let's just, there we go. All right, we're, we're pretty close. Might take a little more tweaking, but you get the idea. And then it looks like there's something funky over, oh no, that's the next column, that's okay. All right, 
What else do we need to do? We're we're pretty much in the ballpark. I mean, this is not like some awesome picture you want to spend a whole bunch of time on. I can tell you one thing we're going to fix. That is, this is going to sound weird because it's not necessary and it's not what's really in the room. But do you notice that this column over here is not lit like this column is? Like this column is lit, that's lit, that's lit. This one, it looks like the light bulb blew. So let's flatten that. Press Command E on Mac or Control E on Windows to merge those two windows together. And maybe what we could do is let's just steal this light here, the light part of the column. It's not going to be a perfect selection there. Put it up on its own layer, flip it the other way, and get that light over onto this column. Let's rotate it a little bit. It needs a little bit of a ro 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 rotate. All right. And of course, you can see all the edges, which don't look awesome. So let's add a layer mask and soften those edges. Get a nice big brush and just kind of soften those edges so it blends in. So at least now it's kind of lit like the other side. So now, what would he do? We press. Uh, save and close to get it back to Lightroom. So you would just choose, you know, save and then, of course, close. And then it would jump back to Lightroom. All right, and then back in Lightroom, you could finish it off by, you know, maybe adding a little clarity. That's maybe too much. Go to the effects panel and add a tiny little bit of edge darkening, just like maybe minus eight and you could kind of fix up whatever other things that you wanted to mess with if you wanted to work on this to make it less blue you could paint in yellow and i think we're kind of getting there we have a little bit of clipping but it's outside the window but if you really wanted to get rid of it you could pull back those highlights at some point the highlights start to turn gray and so that's not awesome but anyway that is uh that is just a quick tutorial on how you would go about getting from where we were with that awful orange thing to where we are now, which is certainly quite a bit better. And here, let me show you a before and after. So I just put the two of them side by side here, uh, but you can see we don't have the bended, not bended, we don't have the bent columns any longer. Our color is fixed. We kind of dealt with some of the other issues. Our guy standing there is gone. So anyway, that is a, a it's not a quick tutorial. But that is a tutorial for you intermediate users out there. Hey, guys, um, if you'd like, I want to invite you to go grab um, the latest issue of Lightroom Magazine. You can jump over to kelby1.com, sign up for a free membership. It's totally free. You don't have to give a credit card or anything. You can just jump on, grab it, and uh, we are making the current issue of Lightroom Magazine available to you for free to go check out the whole thing. So we would love for you to just go grab a copy and we'd love for to have you even as a free member. We would love to have you. And uh, there's some classes there you can take for free, including classes on Lightroom. So hope you go check it out. Go to kelby1.com, get the free membership and catch the latest issue of Lightroom magazine. Well, thanks very much, guys. Have an awesome weekend and we'll catch you next week.